Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. Hey guys, so we are kicking off another week of What's for Dinner with Stromboli. It is so easy to make. You just use some refrigerated pizza dough. I am also using some Italian sausage and pepperoni. I actually did record a what's for dinner video on how I make this and I will make sure to link it in the description box so you guys can check it out. But I did cut a couple of slices so you could see the inside of it. It is so good. It is one of um, our favorite dinners to have. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, Howard grilled out. He made some ribs for us and here they are. And then I made some baked beans and green beans. The baked beans that I used are bushes. Um, these are on my pantry and I always doctor up my baked beans. So I added bacon, um, barbecue sauce and bell pepper to mine. And here it is on the plate. Here's the bacon that I added to my green beans as well. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am using up some stuff from my pantry. So I made jerk chicken and I use this package of Jamaican jerk, jerk cooking sauce and I used boneless skinless chicken thighs to make it and then I am serving it with some jasmine rice and some black beans and I just used a couple of cans of black beans from Aldi and then I just doctored them up and then Howard is having his with a side of avocado as well. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so I am trying out a new recipe tonight for dinner, crescent roll chicken. I could not find this exact recipe on the internet, so that is why I'm just recording it so you guys can screen grab it if you want to. But everything that I read um, on the internet about similar recipes to this said that the crescent rolls are really doughy and gummy if you cook them in the cream of chicken soup like you're supposed to. So what I've decided to do and what a lot of people said to do is to um, make the gravy that goes on top of these dumplings that I'm about to show you to make it separately. So what you're supposed to do is take a tube of crescent rolls and some chicken and cheese and you're supposed to roll up the chicken and the cheese, roll everything up, and then you're supposed to put it in a um, nine by 13 pan with cream of chicken and milk. So I don't really like doughy stuff at all, so I am going to follow recommendations of several people and just add the cream of chicken gravy at the end after my dumplings are done. So um, let's get started. Let me show you how this is uh, gonna work out. So I had some chicken, pre-cooked chicken, um, that I had gotten, I think on sale. No, I think it was a rotisserie chicken that I found. And I just deboned it and then I put it in the freezer for meals like this when I just needed some chicken real quick. And um, so that's what I'm using. So I've got some chicken down there and I'm just gonna add a little bit of shredded cheddar cheese. And you're just supposed to roll it up just like this and you're supposed to tuck in the ends, just like this. This is what it looks like. So I am going to do the rest of these and then I will come back in just a few minutes. All right, I have all my little chicken rolls wrapped. And I will say the recipe says you need three chicken breasts. There is no way that three chicken breasts would fit in those eight little crescent rolls. I probably had a cup of chicken. That's about how much I used. And um, all the chicken is gone. And then this is how much cheese I had left. And I shredded 
ooh, I guess it was four ounces of cheese is what I shredded. So that's how much I have left. You just can't stuff much in there at all. So I am going to pop these in the oven until they are golden brown, and then I will show you our plates once they're finished. So here are the chicken bundles, or here's our plate, I should say. I ended up baking the chicken bundles, and here they are, um, for about 16 minutes. And then I am serving them with white rice and some green beans that I sauteed. They are frozen green beans from Aldi, um, the fine green beans, and I just sauteed them with some garlic and garlic salt, and that is it. And then I've just got that gravy on top. And again, the gravy is cream of chicken with a little bit of milk. It is a little thick. Um, I probably would have thinned it out a little bit more and I guess I can always go back and do that. But here it is. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having potato soup. It is one of my favorite recipes to make, and I used to make it all the time, and I don't know why I don't make it more often, but it is so simple, easy to throw together, and I did record a video on this recipe, so that will be coming out soon. But this is what we are having for dinner tonight. Oh, and I'm serving my potato soup, of course, as you can see, with cheese and green onions and bacon. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time.